Let's draw the Lewis structure for BeCl2. This is beryllium chloride. When we draw Lewis structures for compounds like beryllium chloride, first thing we do, count the total number of valence electrons. We can use the periodic table to help us. So we find beryllium, that's right here in group 2, that has two valence electrons, and then chlorine, group 17, sometimes called 7A, that has seven valence electrons. We have two chlorine atoms. So 2 plus 14, 16 total valence electrons for the BeCl2 Lewis structure. Next, we'll put the least electronegative atom at the center of our Lewis structure. That's the beryllium. We'll put chlorines on either side. Now we're going to put a pair of electrons between atoms to form the chemical bond. So we put two here and then here, and we formed our chemical bond. Now we can complete the octets on the outside atoms, on the chlorines like this. So at this point we've used a total of 16 valence electrons. Both chlorines have octets, but the beryllium it only has four electrons, four valence electrons. The thing is beryllium is an exception to the octet rule. It can have an incomplete octet. So beryllium is okay with four valence electrons. That makes this the Lewis structure for BeCl2. If you calculated the formal charges, you'd find that they would be zero on each element. So that supports the idea that this is the best Lewis structure for BeCl2, and that it's okay that we have this incomplete octet. If you wanted to know the molecular geometry, this would be linear. Bond angle would be 180 degrees. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for beryllium chloride. Thanks for watching.